Are you searching for fulfillment? <laughs> Discover true happiness. Stay tuned to Shalom World. Creation awaits fulfillment. Holy Spirit, Lord of light, from your clear celestial height, your pure beaming radiance give. Almighty and eternal God, send forth your Spirit, who brought order from chaos at the beginning of the universe, and peace to the Lord's disciples. Grant that I, as your creation, baptized in your spirit, may be filled with the seven gifts, so that I may forever do your will and renew the face of the earth. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World, world without, without end. end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, Eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and, and the, the might of, of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. And I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch you for your light and listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you, and give myself to you, and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus, and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, Adorable Spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you, always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ, Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of fear of the Lord, that we may be filled with a loving reverence towards you. The spirit of piety, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the service of God while serving others. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you and with courage overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know you 
and know ourselves and grow in holiness. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten our minds with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel, that we may choose the surest way of doing your will, seeking first the kingdom. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may aspire to the things that last forever. Teach, Teach us, us to be your faithful disciples and, and animate us in every way with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Amen. Amen. A lot of talk in our church today about the new evangelization and we might ask well what's new about the new evangelization one thing that's new is that we're trying to renew the faith in people who should already be catholic should already be christian individuals families communities whole cultures that need to rediscover the gospel and so what's new is that they're getting a new shot in the arm of faith of evangelization another thing that's new about it is the way that we do that and the new media and groups like Shalom World TV are very important for bringing the gospel anew to our cultures, to our families, to each of us individually. And so I encourage all the viewers of Shalom World TV and I encourage uh, Shalom World TV themselves to keep up the good work, uh, to keep watching this channel and to keep up the good work of presenting the Catholic faith to our world today.